so we're doing another rows um, replay analysis. This one is a rows versus Ken. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this match. I'm going to try to be a little more brief um, on some of the interactions, but I want to also include a couple of examples and some um, different rationale behind why uh, frame data and punishes and knowing all this stuff is important. So we'll go ahead and start here. And I know in the replay, um, or in the kind of replay discussion we had on Discord, you sort of mentioned you knew that you missed some punishes and you missed some conversions and anti-errors. Um, I won't dig into those too much. First of all, remember when you're watching your replays to go ahead and turn on key display and turn on uh, frame attack data. When you do, you'll see some crazy stuff like this guy that um, input about 85 directions in the span of one second. So, uh, wow. Let's look at round start. I think round start's a really interesting thing in fighting games in general, but also in Street Fighter V and with Rose. What was your option here? Crouching medium kick. I actually really like the crouching medium kick as a round start. You sort of saw him dash. You reacted a little bit late, and he was able to get the cross-up jump, which is unfortunate, but, you know, at the end of the day, crouching medium kick at round start's not the worst option in the world because it catches dashes, which you tried to do, um, and it's pretty non-committal. This guy did a dash into a jump cross-up and got a combo. So, you know, it was a risk. He got the reward there, but I wouldn't be too beat up about that. Now, what do you do on wake up here? Looked like you try to tech the throw, which, I mean, he mistimed his meaty, so I think you would have tech the throw here, but ultimately, it's probably too early in the round to sort of tech um, and take that sort of risk. He doesn't recover at all, and you go for a soul punish. I love this setup here, right? So I'm not sure if you confirmed that he didn't recover or, um, or just sort of did this as a setup. If they quick rise, you can't really get a soul punish here and be safe, but he didn't recover, and, you know, this was fantastic, especially because you got the anti-air afterwards. So this is exactly what Rose wants to do, especially with soul punish, which is get them out there on people's knockdowns, especially if they don't recover, if they get knocked really far away, and force them to do something risky, like jumping in. Good stuff. Um... I probably would have just gone for a stand medium punch or a crouching medium punch here and then tried to kind of confirm that into a spiral because unfortunately with stand medium kick, you don't really get anything off of that. Um, I definitely wouldn't do two stand medium kicks in a row. I think in general, it's probably safe to kind of forget that button even exists for the most part except for a couple of meaty setups. Um, it's just not really high enough reward except for like some counter hit scenarios in the corner. But you did get a knockdown here. And what I like most about this round, I won't stick too long in this round, but this is the optimal end state for a Rose player, right? The optimal state is they have, you have a health, uh, they have a health deficit, so you have the health advantage. Their stun bar is high, they're in the corner, and you're standing right underneath the timer. This is exactly what you want to do every round if possible, because what Rose can do, and what you do here, is pester them with your good buttons, your crouching medium punch, standing medium punch here, or a standing heavy punch into the spiral. Now, the only thing I would have liked to see different here is at this range, you probably could have been spaced a little farther back to get max range, but this is pretty good. I probably would have canceled this into a fireball um, or even into like an EX fireball or maybe even an EX bind. You have the meter. His stun bar is really high. You really want to get this stun because it basically ensures that you win the round. You catch him trying to sweep. He did, can't even really sweep activate here, so I'm not really sure what his goal with that sweep was, but, you know. And notice, if you had canceled this into a light fireball here, you would have got the stun already without having to go for the sort of raw um, uh, medium spiral here. Maybe you try to confirm this little bit late, so it wasn't actually a cancel, but um, hey, you know, it worked out. Um, obviously, I think you said in the post, we need a little bit better combo here, because not only did you not get any damage, but he got out of the corner, so you're, you know, it is kind of easy to say, hey, I didn't get the punish, I need to learn those, but it's important to recognize that not only is it important that you get the damage here, but you're moving yourself out of Rose's optimal playing location 
per optimal scenario of them being in the corner, you being in the center stage, having such a you know advantage here. Two, because you missed this and didn't get the damage, he got out of the corner or would have if he had you know been a little smarter about it. And you kind of give him a second lease on life, especially because he has V trigger. Um, you like it seems like you like to do meaty fireball on wake up. Meaty fireball is good at distance, but in this situation, um, especially after you got this, you're absolutely going to get a meaty here. Meaty stand heavy kick, even just a, I don't know, a meaty stand heavy punch or a medium punch. Um, we really need to work on getting just some meaty buttons in there that aren't fireball because you don't get any conversion off of a meaty fireball on hit. He jumps out of the corner, and now look. So, you know, a couple of interactions where we had a missed opportunity that's unfortunate, but then because you're not being aggressive enough, he does eventually get out of the corner here. And at this point, you know, you're kind of in the danger zone. Even though you have such a huge health advantage, he's, uh, you gave him a second chance, although he doesn't block his toes, and you get him, so... Now let's look at where things kind of go off the rails a little bit. Um, to start this round, actually, you do a great thing, which is you recognize, hey, he jumped at me last time at round start. I'm going to get the anti-air. That's fantastic. Now, like I said again, stand medium kick's not really that good of a button after this, especially because you should have recognized, hey, he kind of bounced pretty far away from me after this anti-air. I probably don't even get a meaty or any way to pressure him after this one. Which would have been fine. I probably would have gone for a stand heavy punch here. And now we come to the minus nine. So this is why it's important to have the key display and the frame data stuff on. Because you can see here that you are plus nine in this scenario. And you get all kinds of punishes. And you get a throw. But there was so much more you could have done, right? And while... You know, some of the combos, you know, target combo and HP bind can kind of be difficult. But even something like a crouching heavy punch into heavy spiral or a stand medium punch, crouch medium punch into medium spiral, something that gives a little more damage and gives you a better knockdown than this back throw. So I'll go ahead and put a couple of uh, examples here. <laughs> And the reason it's important to be able to do those kind of combos in minus nine situation is that not only, like I said, do you get a knockdown, a better knockdown, more damage, but it's setting the rest of the round up to be in your favor. Rose has a really difficult time of getting good Oki, and so if you have any kind of scenario where you can get um, a spiral knockdown or specifically the HP bind knockdown, that's the only way you're going to be able to kind of loop pressure on a, on a character like Ken. And in this scenario, it would have helped a ton because this guy doesn't block, um, and you would have just you would have just mauled him. I like the fireball. I like the walk up throw. I'm I'm not amazed that he teched it because, as you can see in his inputs, he's just mashing tech for some reason. And then this stuff happens. So, the walk up throw in of itself was kind of crazy. Um, it can be difficult to react to this. I would have liked to see just a couple of crouch jabs or maybe a crouching medium punch. But the real problem here is this dash up. So, you know, I'm not sure if you have this matchup knowledge or not, but now you do, which is that Ken is minus two after this dash. You absolutely every time have to challenge him when he dashes like this. If he doesn't block um, and hits a button or tries to throw again, not only do you get a punish, um, you get a counter hit punish here. Second time he does it, I think you go for a tech, you crouch, and then you go for a delay tech, which he shimmied, but he doesn't know how to shimmy, so you don't, he doesn't really get anything off of that. But 
it should never have come to this point because remember there's basically no character that gets forward throw dash into forward throw in fact it, you know except for the in some scenarios in the corner where people can walk up and get like a micro walk into throw this is a hundred percent fake so we got to challenge that then you kind of get a little bit scared because he's throwing he's dashing he's kind of doing some crazy stuff and then he gets a jump in on you you tech a little bit flustered so you don't get the crush counter combo and this Ken has recognized like hey I'm gonna keep throwing because it's it's working out for me he doesn't seem to know that my throw pressure is fake I'm just gonna keep doing it the answer to this is not I need to tech more by the way like you don't need to be breaking these throws the answer is once you take the throw or get thrown or any of that kind of stuff you're back in neutral here right this is neutral and again he was minus two so you correctly challenge here I like the challenge you got to do that every time he did it again and now he's just kind of going ham, doing some doing some bronze Ken things. Um, one thing I would like to point out here is that crouching medium kick is uh, minus four for Ken. So right there. So not only can he not do two crouching medium kicks in a row, he can't do anything after this. Um, he can't even really DP, I don't think. So I would have liked to see, in this situation, if he's not canceling anything into fireball, which it doesn't seem like he is, or into step kick or something, into run, um, at least buffer a crouch jab in there to catch this, or if we know he's trying to go for this fake string, you can go for a, uh, a stand medium punch, which will counter hit. So I'll, I'll put a little clip in here for that. I think ultimately the rest of this replay is just sort of um, you being a little bit flustered at not getting the anti-airs and it's kind of a self-fulfilling cycle right like you miss the anti-air you kind of get hit by the fake throw pressure um, and you, you, you it sort of breaks your whole game plan because you know and you probably are a little bit hard on yourself when this happens you say well well damn this wasn't real this wasn't real I got hit by this I'm not taking the throws I'm guessing wrong when ultimately all you really need to do is sort of tighten it up a little bit when it comes to checking fake stuff. Um, make sure you get your punishes. Make sure you take your Oki opportunities when they arise. And I also noticed you, you're jumping a lot to try and catch these neutral jumps. It's not a terrible idea, but also you could just walk forward and crouching heavy punch and be much safer. That was minus 10 and probably punishable at this range, so remember... Um, her crouching medium kick in the spiral is very good, but if you don't confirm it on a single hit, which can be difficult, it's going to be a liability. And we'll kind of just we'll just kind of zoom through the rest of this round. It's a lot of the same stuff where he's just kind of hitting a bunch of stuff. Here's your minus nine punish again, which would have really changed this round. But instead, all you get was the throw. Um, I would have taken the dash here. So remember, you want to win the spacing war. Remember the round that you won in the very beginning? You didn't win the round at mid-screen. You won the round over in the corner. So you should take this opportunity to eat up the space. A little misconfirmed there, kind of unfortunate. Super unfortunate that that didn't work. Um, that was actually a really good reaction, and I... Man, EX buy needs to have a little better, <laughs> a little better properties than that. But um, unfortunate, he jumps way back on the corner. Again, this is a situation where you need to be taking this space. He gave the whole screen to you. Dash up, dash up here, right? You went from being in the corner, which is where Ken wants you to be. He got a combo on you, and instead, he's gonna back dash. You should have eaten all the screen up. And then this is just some Ken stuff. At this point, he could have uh, could have supered you to chip. So, all in all, I think I, I like your instincts with Rose and in that you want to... Uh, it seems like what you really want to do is use fireballs to control space, anti-air, get some soul punishes out. Um, but I think the issue we have 
is that for in, in neutral, and we'll actually we'll go ahead and let me go back to round one really fast. Remember, remember how you won this round, right? It, you won this round right here. This is where you won the round, not in the fireballs. It wasn't the anti-air necessarily. It was getting to this spacing and holding it, right? So that's the biggest thing I think I'd like to see you try to work on, which is once you've gotten a knockdown and used your good neutral and your good buttons and your fireballs to control space and to calm down these bronze and silver players, I want you to eat up that screen space and push them into the corner where you can dominate even farther. So I hope that helped a little bit. I hope the examples helped. And um, hey, man, keep it up.